guaranteed copper bottom blue chip investment. No. Will you put a sock in your knowing it for a minute? You don't even know what you're saying no to. Wrong, I do, and the answer is still no. Look, this bloke has agreed to let me have a load of cutlery for 300 quid, right? Now, this other bloke in that's opening the wine bar has already said he's going to take it off me hands for 400 quid. So all i got to do is pick up from bloke A and deliver to bloke B, and there's no problem. Wrong again. One problem. You haven't got 300 quid. Correct, sunshine, but my loyal mate and business associate has 440 quid to be precise, and we only need 300 quid to see us right. Mrs Bishop gave me that money to pay off me telescope. Listen, you still pay off your telescope tomorrow, but in the meantime, you use the ante to make yourself a cool hundred smackers. That, that is 50 quid each. I can do simple arithmetic, Einstein. Good. So then you agree it's easy buns. On paper, yeah. Never mind on paper. Is it or is it not a sweet little profit maker, eh, for a couple of hours graft? Yeah, yeah, if I suppose so. Good. So now we're making some progress, aren't we? What do you say, me old China? No. Ah, yes, Emily. Oh, she's not come to buy anything, have you, love? She's just come for the latest chapter in the Mavis Riley saga. What oh. thrilling role is she playing today, folks? Adventurous, sex oh. goddess, novice nun? Rita, you're talking ridiculous, as per usual. I am not. Every syllable that drops from these luscious lips is a little nugget of truth. Right, Emily? Well, you did pretend to be a high-powered potential customer, Mavis, and that you two had only just met. Yes, well, I, I was a victim of circumstance. I mean, it could happen to anybody. Only anybody daft enough to get involved with devious Derek. Oh, Derek is not devious. He was... Well, he, he was just a victim of circumstance as well. I mean, it wasn't his fault that his stepson walked into the restaurant. But it was his fault that the pair of you were dining there together in the first place. Yes, but we're old friends. I understand that. Emily understands that. But presumably the lovely Mrs Wilton wouldn't understand that, were she ever to find out that you were discovered in flagrante between the chicken Kiev and the creme caramel. Well, that's precisely why, why we had to... Lie your socks off. Choose an expedient course of action. Eh, hey, Emily, what are we to do with her? Rita's right, Mavis. You want to be more careful. Oh, what a tangled web we weaved, etc. Oh, still, we've all broke the rules a time or two. So long as she's learned a lesson, no harm done. Eh, hey, Mavis? No, none at all. How about going on Elf Farm, kid, for a week? Just you and me. Give up, are you on Elf Farm? <laughs> well, why not? I look great in leotard. <laughs> 24 hours without chips and you'd have withdrawal symptoms. Besides, they're dead expensive. Well, you meet rich fellows there. I don't want to meet fellows rich or otherwise, thank you very much. My life's complicated enough as it is at the moment. Well, you're never too old, you know. Joan Collins does that. Uh, shall I go out and come back again when this subject's fit for a little, lad? Yeah, she looks after her body with all them aerobatic exercises. And Victoria Principal. And Princess Di. Oh, so you reckon a few push-ups and you could look like them, do you, Vera? No, not like them. I've got a different colour hair for a kick off. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen, love, I didn't know you were coming back. I've not. I've only bought in for two. I can open a tin of beans if you like, so no uh, trouble. No, thanks, ma'am. I'm meeting Kevin at pub. Oh. Only I forgot to tell you, I won't be in for me tea tonight. Um, oh. Him and Sal have asked me around there. Ah, oh, bless them. I bet they're enjoying playing house while I'm this away. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a change for you, love. Company your own age. Oh. Yeah, you must get really long, OK? Mm, not really, Vera. I mean, there's plenty of birds only too anxious to take pity on a bloke on his tod. Well, Bert! <laughs> hey, this is all Brian! <laughs> He's only pulling your leg, aren't you, love? Yes, keep doing your knee bends, Vera. Ta-ra. Sure. You all right, Glory, love? Eh? Oh, yeah, I'm just a bit down. I feel oh. dead throaty, you know. All I need's a bad cold. Oh. You want to get into bed with some hot milk and honey when you get home. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Stood you up, has she? As experience is gold, that one's unknown to me, Blondie. Oh, who are you waiting for on pins, then? Well, not someone of your, if you'll pardon the expression, sex, as it so happens. Oh, Right then, be mysterious. I'm not that interested, you know. I'm just trying to make conversation the way we barmaids are supposed to. Isn't that right, Betty? Mm. Look, you must know I'm waiting for my business associate, all right? No need to be snappy with her. She's not feeling too well. Well, I'm not feeling too brilliant myself. Oh. Yeah, hey, you're in the market for ideas. If they're any good. Yeah. What do you have to drink? Hey, did you... What's it there, Ken? I'll get one for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's must juice, please. Hey, what do you mean, if they're any good? No, I think you should get into nostalgia. Do a series on old Weatherfield characters. I mean, there must be still a few about. Yeah, there are, and most of them come in here. <laughs> come in, Nesbitt. Uh, tomato juice and half a lager, please, Jack. Oh, come, come in, Nesbitt. He's a character. 
who used to be the uh, firewood man round where I used to live when I was a lad. Now, everybody knew Gummy Nesbitt and his horse. Now, as soon as I saw it at the top of our entry, I'd get a big lump of bread and get to our back door. Now, as soon as that old flea bag spotted it, it'd be off like the clappers of hell, pulling all the washing down the gennel, all the women would be screaming, come here, be running behind, everything and blind, it'd be a right fun to buy, I tell Oh, yeah, you. and I bet you were popular. Oh, I had a fair sense of humour, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, if you want to know out about old oh, Weatherfield, now, well, Gummy's the fella for you, isn't he? He's still alive, then. I'm kicking, don't know about his horse. And uh, where would I find him? I'd fix that old fella, no bother. Would I get my picture in the paper?